The chi-squared test of independence is used for testing the independence of two categorical variables. To perform this test on the TI calculator, we must first enter in the matrix by going to second and then matrix. Go to the right and edit matrix A. Now we must enter in our data values. In this problem, a student wants to show evidence that studying is associated with passing a test. A random sample of 200 students was taken. From the 140 students who reported studying, 120 passed. We have for the students who did study, 120 passed, which means 20 failed. From the 60 students who reported not studying, 44 passed. If 44 passed, 16 failed. This matrix down here was entered into the calculator. Go ahead and hit second quit to leave the screen. Now we can do the chi-squared test of independence. Go to stat, over to test, and this time go up to chi-squared test of independence. Under the chi-squared test of independence, we only need to put in the observed values. It will calculate for us the expecteds. Going down to draw, will show us the chi-squared distribution and give us the chi-squared value along with the p-value. Our chi-squared test statistic is 4.3619 and gives us a p-value of 0.0368. In this instance, we can reject the null and say that there is evidence that studying and passing the test are not independent. If you want to get the expected values, leave this screen by clicking second quit and now go back to second matrix. If you go ahead and print or edit matrix B, you will be able to see the expected values. Our expected values for did not study and fail was 10.8. Our expected value for did not study pass was 49.2. Our expected value for fail did not study was 25.2. And our expected value for did not study pass was 114.8.